guys, so today I wanted to go over some of the worst college basketball arenas, and oh, there are a lot of them. I think there's actually a few arenas in college basketball that seat under a thousand people, but I've put a little list together of some of the absolute worst ones. You know, some of these, honestly, they look worse than high school gyms, and I'm not exaggerating. The first one we're looking at it's the Murphy Center. Yes, you take a look at that. What a photo. What what an exterior. Probably the worst exterior I've seen to a college basketball arena, home of Middle Tennessee State. Now, admittedly, the interior of it looks rather nice. It looks inviting. It looks cozy. It's got one of those circular type shapes, the same thing that Purdue has, the same thing that Wichita State has. The reason it's on this list is because of the exterior. I mean, come on. The exterior looks like an abandoned library. I mean, it just looks grotesque. <clears throat> so the Murphy Center for Middle Tennessee State. You know, Middle Tennessee State's made a few tournaments recently. I don't think they're going to make this one coming up. But they've had some minor success. A good interior. Possibly the worst exterior I've seen when it comes to college basketball arenas. Next, we're looking at the Roy L. Patrick Gym. We share this. So this is, I think this is called the Patrick Gymnasium. So that is my first name, but I do not take credit for this facility. Goodness gracious. The thing with Vermont, Vermont's actually a good basketball program. They're trying to get funding for a new arena. And there's actually a mock photo of the new arena. One of the things I've seen with every new arena going up, they're, they all have like a massive window that lets natural like it light in, like with Allen Fieldhouse in Kansas. That's how all the new ones are being designed, but apparently they haven't been able to raise the funds, and you just take a look at this. This has high school written all over it. I mean, this is a high school gym. You know, with the bleachers and things like that. There's just, there's really no, there's the, I can't analyze anything about this. There's nothing, it's a high school that, you know, come on. Like, there's nothing to even analyze when it comes to that. So, that's on the list. The next one we're going to be looking at, the Youngstown State Arena, which might be a slight level up in terms of the old, I think they just got those seats installed. Those look nice and new. But yes, Youngstown State on the list as well. The Horizon League, yes. Uh, they, overall, I, I don't think it's like horrifically bad, but again, there's just not, nothing special about it, and the bleachers are very small overall. The exterior of it is another thing. Northeastern State. So the reason why this is on here, and you know what? Maybe it's just crazy. Apparently... Northeastern State has been using the same arena since 1910. Matthews Arena. I mean, I'm sure it's had renovations. Apparently, the capacity is right around 6,000. 1910. That is crazy. The fact that they're still using it, and I'm sure it's just super outdated. It looks real dark, real depressing, the interior of it. It does have a two bowl setup with a very small upper bowl. Looks like about five rows back. So overall, Northeastern, just for having such an old, I mean, look at the, the roof of it. It just looks really old. You can see the hockey rink going around the outside. It's just so sad, some of these kids playing in the, these some of these arenas. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the Jodwin Gymnasium. That's that's what it's called, the print home for home. Next, we're going to be looking at the Jodwin Gymnasium, home of Princeton, which is basically built on looks like some type of Olympic track rink, and half of it is cut off. You want to talk about cheap? That's it's what it looks like to me with Princeton. They did those do look like brand new seats, so I'll give them credit for that. They've got new seats installed. But overall, you know, if, if you're going to use it as a multi-purpose area, it just looks really bad. So it's got to be on the list as one of the worst ones in terms of the fact that it's multi-purpose and you can literally see some of the track on the other side. It's just a terrible environment, not conducive for college basketball. Next, we're going to be looking at the Citadel 
Of course, the outside of the Citadel, they tried, they got like a little castle thing going on. It looks like a, some type of like, it's like, you, you know, with McDonald's and they put up like those little fake castles. That's honestly what it looks like. I mean, it's real bad, but you know, the Citadel is a military school. They want it. They got the castle vibe, the castle theme, the interior of it. It's a high school. Let's call it what it is. You know, it does have extra seating than a high school. I'll give it that. But the Citadel, who was, I think they were down 20 to nothing yesterday or something. Maybe it was 10 to nothing. They are on the list for one of the worst arenas in college basketball. And I have to include a bigger arena that where money was actually spent on it. I know I've been picking on the smaller schools. We're going to go with Value City Arena for Ohio State. Everyone hates it. Ohio State fans hate it. They It looks like an NBA arena. There's just, I cannot believe this thing was okayed. Oh, wait, you want to know why this was built? It wasn't built for college basketball. It was built as an event center for concerts. So when you do that, because you're so obsessed with money, because Ohio State is... There's just no atmosphere. Even when the place sells out, there's no atmosphere. It looks like a rundown, crappy version of an NBA arena. That's what Value City Arena is. And, you know, there's just no, there's so many great college basketball arenas, and especially even modern good college basketball arenas. I cannot believe, you know, just believe this project got okayed. But again, it's all about oh, we want to have graduations, we want to have concerts, that's what it's all about. So the one of the bigger arenas, I would say, Value City, just completely mi missed the mark for Ohio State. You've actually got Ohio State fans wanting the team to move back into their old arena, St. John's, but apparently they've got issues with the bathrooms and stuff, they're not up to date, so they can't do that. Next, we're going to be looking at Manhattan's arena, the Manhattan Jaspers, I think. I mean, look, look at this, this scoreboard. That, that is an out-of-date scoreboard for sure. But honestly, I'm surprised they even have one that goes, you know, that's like around and has four different screens. But yeah, this, I mean, it, it's rough. There's just nothing to it. They've actually been able to upgrade arenas like this. Now, they haven't up. I don't think they've upgraded Manhattan's yet. That's why they're on the list, but... It's just really bad. I mean, you got to upgrade that at some point. I'm just looking at it. Next, we're looking at Cornell. This is Newman Arena for Cornell. And I will give a Newman Arena a shout out. It's got that little balcony, you know, that looks like a little bit of a press box that you can kind of look through and watch the game. So a lot of these Ivy ones are really bad, like Princeton's and Cornell's. But yeah, the seating, I mean, it's it, it's it's wooden bleachers, you know, something you would see at an, an old AAU tournament or something like that. So that's that's got to be on the list. It's just, I mean, look at that. That looks real old. They got you. You got to think about an upgrade if you're Cornell. At some point, it, it look. It looks like that photo was taken in 1982. It probably was. They probably just upscaled the resolution. It probably was taken in 1982. Looking at that, and then I have to give a shout out to any team that plays in an NBA arena. Literally an NBA arena. Uh, you know, like Memphis. You feel bad for them. Uh, you know, whoever, what is it, Georgetown playing in Washington, the Washington Wizards arena. It, it's a horrible environment. It's just like college football teams playing in NFL stadiums. It's just not good, and you're never going to have an advantage. You never think of a team playing, you never think of a college team playing in a professional stadium and say, oh yeah, they've got a real good home field advantage or home court. It never happens because... You can't play college sports in professional arenas unless it's a neutral site game. Otherwise, it's just even neutral site games are bad if we're being completely honest. But and then the absolute grand finale, GB Hodge Center, the lowest capacity of any college basketball arena sitting at around 800 people total. This is a YMCA. My elementary school had a better gym than this. It's so sad. This is UC Upstate. And yeah, it is crazy. I mean, it lo it looks like, uh, you know, like you go to the YMCA or one of those things. But actually, it's probably worse than that. But 
you, you you've got to consider an upgrade if you're if you're UC Upstate at some point. But yes, it is the lowest capacity, and I'm actually shocked they even can fit 800 people in there. It looks like it should have a capacity of about 300. It's just two little bleachers that go about seven or eight rows back. If you're claustrophobic, I mean, you can't even be in there if you're claustrophobic. Look at how low the roof is. By the way, I was reading something. They said they renovated the Murphy Center. It, 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 there's no way that's how it looks after the renovation. Did they seriously just renovate the interior of it for Middle Tennessee? They, listen, that's just so bad. You got to renovate the exterior, man. I mean, people get confused. that They put in their GPS, take me to Middle Tennessee State's arena, and they get taken here, and it's like, I mean, why are you taking me to an abandoned library? That's what it looks like. It's just, you'd think there would be something that was done, but... I think that's how it currently looks. But either way, guys, those are just some of the worst arenas in college basketball in 2023. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.